three figure bearings or true bearings and navigation using right angle trigonometry. There's a lot of navigation type questions that we get in trigonometry where people are traveling for a certain distance along a certain bearing or in a direction relative to north. So when I'm traveling in a direction, for example, if I'm traveling east, I can give that as a bearing related to north. If I was standing here facing north, how many degrees would I have to turn around to be facing east to walk east? And obviously that's 90 degrees from north to east. So each of our main cardinal um, compass points are 90 degrees. N uh, northeast is exactly halfway between north and east, so obviously we've got 45 degrees in there. If we had north northeast, halfway between north and northeast, that would be half of 45, so 22 and a half. And we'll have to understand and give bearings and then use them in navigation. So the type of bearings that we're usually using are called true or three figure bearings. And they are the angle clockwise from north. That is, where I'm standing, if I was looking north, what angle would I have to turn through to be facing the direction I want to go? Now, the true bearing is shown as a T after it. Three figure bearings are called that because we give our number as three digits. Now, this angle here clockwise from north is only 45. So let's start with northeast. As a true bearing, because it's only 45, we'd start with a zero to make it up to three digits without changing its meaning, and degrees T for true. So northeast is 45 degrees true. When you're asked to state a bearing, stating the bearing of A, it's a really good idea to get in with a pen and draw the angle clockwise from north because it really helps you work out what we're doing. Now that's just 35 degrees, so A is 0 0.035 degrees true. B, however, carefully get in and draw clockwise from north. I've got to get to there. So what you're going to have to do with angles and bearings is Keep adding lots of 90 and add or subtract depending on whether you've got this angle here or that angle there. So here I've got one lot of 90, two lots of 90, three lots of 90 would take me all the way around to here at 270. So I'd subtract that 15 degrees. If they'd given me this angle instead, I could have done 90 plus 90 plus this angle. So it all depends on whether you need to keep going a bit further or come back a bit. So 90 plus 90 plus 90, 270, minus the 15, and you can show the working. 270 minus 15 degrees. I've got, uh, what's it? 255 degrees true. Now here's an interesting thought, little question. This was the bearing, if we wrote that properly, it would be of B from O. That is, we're standing at O, looking north. What's the angle we turn around to be facing B? O from B says if you're standing at B facing north, what's the angle we turn around to face back towards, oh sorry, I'll call that O. O is always the origin, the center there. And for these questions, it can help us to draw another little compass diagram, preferably actually on B. And these little compass diagrams are called a compass rose, and they can just be a cross with one little arrow. And now you can see that my bearing standing at B, so going from B towards O, is just that angle, not that whole angle. There's a couple of ways we can look at it. I could remember that these two lines, north-south, 
north-south are parallel and so this line in between them says those angles are alternate and they will be equal. So that angle here equals that angle there. 90 take away 15 would give me 75. So O from B will be 75 degrees or 0, 7, 5 degrees true. The other way of working it out, which doesn't involve quite so much drawing, is if you've got the bearing of B from O, to reverse that O from B, it's just 180 degrees difference. If it's more than 180 degrees, you'll take away 180. If it was less than 180 degrees, if I wanted to go back from A to O, you'd add 180. So it's just 180 different to go back along the same way. And so if I was working at O from B, calculating it, this is more than 180, I'd do 255 minus 180, and I'd get 75, 0 .0 0 0.075 degrees true. So remembering that opposite bearings are off by 180 degrees is pretty useful. Now the types of questions we might get do vary a lot and they do start getting more and more complicated. Here's one, a hiker walked 3.5 kilometers west then 2.8 kilometers north. What bearing must they follow to do return directly to their starting point? So sometimes they'll ask for bearings, sometimes they'll give you a bearing and ask for distance. And as long as you're using right angle trig and Pythagoras for distances as well, you're pretty much okay. Start always by drawing a compass rose at the start. So we draw one at the start. That's my starting point and as I said it can be pretty simple with a north. Use a ruler or the straight edge of your pen if that's what you've got. And we're going 3.5 kilometers west. And so you just sort of give yourself a distance out there. S west. Sometimes they'll say due west. And that means exactly west. Sometimes they might say in a westerly direction. And that means pretty much anywhere towards west. Um, so th there's a lot of language to be looked at here. 3.5 kilometers there then 2.8 kilometers north. Now, you would draw a compass rose for a change of direction. So I'd put another one here if it wasn't a right angle. But if it's a right angle, I'm pretty much okay to not have a compass rose on this one change of direction. So now I'm going to go north 2.8 kilometers. So I'll add to my notes here, draw a compass rose for a change of direction. But you don't have to for a right angle. Because then it would just get messy. Um, and because of course I went from going west to going north, that is a right angle. Then what bearing must they follow to, do it, to return directly to their starting point? And so that is, they want to go this way. If that asks what distance is it back to their starting point, you could use Pythagoras for that because you've got two sides. Always draw a compass rose for a bearing. So if I want a bearing from here to my starting point, I must draw another compass rose in there because the bearing I want is a true bearing from north at that point and to get that I'll have to find one of those angles. You could find this one and take it away from 90 or you could say well actually I know both of these I could draw my triangle here this way and get the exact angle that I wanted. 
So you'll see that it's just this triangle in here, which happens to have the exact angle there that I want, and then I can add on 90. You could have found this one, that would have been fine. There's usually two options for angles in any navigation question. And so this then is a nice and easy question. Opposite, adjacent. Using inverse tan because we're finding an angle. Grabbing our calculator, which is pretty dodgy. And I've got theta equals 39 degrees. Now that's not my bearing because that's just that angle there. And I must also add the 90 degrees. Word question means word answer. They must follow a bearing of now 39 plus 90 means 129 degrees true to return. The questions are all going to be different sorts of things, but if you follow those steps, draw a compass rows, draw the individual triangles, and work out what you're after, you should be okay.